the Tris for the inventive principles. Genry called Schuller, creator of the theory of inventive problem solving, better known by its Russian acronym Tris, analyzed thousands of patents and identified a group of 40 techniques that inventors used successfully to solve problems across different fields. To inspire new inventors in their problem solving, I created this video illustrating one of these principles. Principle 30. Flexible shells and thin films, use flexible shells and thin films instead of three-dimensional structures. For example, flexible robots. This thin plastic or fabric robots can create unique three-dimensional shapes or structures depending on the application. Vines like this black-eyed Susan can grow up and around almost anything. And so can soft robots. You use the natural softness of nature to create ideas for how you would design new robots differently. The big idea of this project is to develop a robot that effectively grows out the tip. And we call these vine robots because they grow in a manner similar to how a plant would grow. With support from the National Science Foundation, mechanical engineer Allison Okamura and a team at Stanford University are building soft robots inspired by vines. The inflatable robots are made of plastic or tough fabric, and their shape is ideal for threading through narrow spaces. So this could include inside the human body for minimally invasive surgeries, getting into small uh, areas that uh, are otherwise inaccessible, for example, in search and rescue or disaster scenarios. The robots are designed to carry instruments like cameras on the tip, so they could be completely autonomous, driving themselves based on the images received by the camera. Okamura says the unique thing about these robots is they can create their own shapes and structures. Let's say you needed a ladder to escape a burning building. A vine robot could essentially tie itself into knots and weave itself into a shape that would allow you to use it to climb down off of something. Mother Nature, inspiring scientists to create better tools and more adaptable robots. I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News. Isolate the object from the external environment using flexible shells and thin films. For example, airbags. Using airbags to land a spacecraft allows the vehicle to be reused up to 10 times. Much like the airbags that you depend on for protection in your car, Boeing has been busy with some new airbags that will ensure a soft and safe landing for a new capsule-shaped spacecraft. The spacecraft is called the Crew Space Transportation 100, or CST-100 for short. The CST-100 can carry up to seven people and will fly to the International Space Station and other low Earth orbit destinations. It will land on ground instead of water and it flies itself autonomously. Boeing recently completed a series of airbag drop tests in the eastern Mojave Desert near the border of Nevada and California. Uh, the airbags will be all compressed underneath the heat shield and then uh, when we're coming down on the parachutes about 5,000 feet up we're going to drop the base heat shield and we have uh, high pressure uh, compressed gas bottles that's a nitrogen oxygen mixture. Uh, we'll, uh, fairly rapidly in about 30 seconds and inflate uh, the airbags um, prior to landing. The airbags cushion the landing, protecting the people on board the spacecraft. To test the airbags, a semi-truck and custom trailer with a crane drops the capsule while traveling at about 10 to 30 miles per hour. Bigelow Aerospace built the mobile test rig and ran the tests that allow engineers to better model landings. The vertical drop simulates the descent of the deployed parachutes, while the horizontal movement mimics the impact of the wind. The airbags, built by ILC Dover, use the same technology as the NASA Mars Pathfinder and Mars Exploration Rover, which helped land the Sojourner, Spirit, and Opportunity rovers on Mars. The six airbags on the CST-100 are a proven, affordable technology. Share this video and add your examples of this inventive principle in the comments below. Flexible shells and thin films. Use flexible shells and thin films instead of three-dimensional structures. Isolate the object from the external environment using flexible shells and thin films.